Hello, my name is Peggy Swartchild. I'm co-owner of Material Possessions. Today, I'm here to talk to you about our Table of the Month series. For the month of June, we have collaborated with Steve Mayer of Bird Dog Bay. Steve founded his company in 2006, and we thought this would be the perfect tie-in for us for Father's Day. So, Steve, has created a table using his ties, which are both traditional, but whimsical and colorful, and really the perfect gift for Father's Day. I'd like to introduce you to Steve Mayer. Hi, I'm Steve Mayer. Uh, I'm the owner and designer of Bird Dog Bay Neckwear. Uh, it's a company based here in Chicago. I uh, launched the company in 2006. Uh, we concentrate our strengths in um, a traditional yet whimsical necktie. Uh, that sells in over 100 specialty stores across the country. Bird dog is actually a term for a hunting dog, who, and I rescued a hunting dog um, right around in 2006 when I started my company, and um, I had just built uh, two single-family homes on the west side of Chicago, and uh, my dog that I rescued had some anxiety issues, so when I would go to work in the morning uh, at my previous job, my dog would kind of give me a guilty stare uh, out the front bay window uh, of the new home that I had just built. So that's where Bird Dog Bay comes from. It's not. It's kind of a mythical place, and a lot of people don't know the, you know, the origin of the name. Material Possessions uh, asked me to be a part of their Table of the Month for the month of June. Obviously, Father's Day um, being the necktie holiday. It's probably our busiest season. Um, maybe even competing with Christmas, though. They asked us uh, to be a part of the table, so. So this, this tie that's actually uh, tied up on the Bulldogs, actually is most of the ties here on the tabletop is a tie called the Gus, and that's actually the logo of our company. We sell a lot of that tie. Um, so that's been very popular, and we've made this whimsical thing like they're in the Windy City. And so uh, we worked with that first, and those are obviously the focal point of the table. Uh, this tie here is called Puppy Love, and if you look closely, you'll see every once in a while there's a dog sniffing the other dog's butt. So um, that's... Uh, you know, kind of the backhanded humor that we have in some of the some of the stuff that we do. This is the cutest table that we've done in a long time. Steve has a wonderful sense of humor, as you can see in his ties. Steve picked a charger plate to begin with, which is um, produced by VA Tree. It's got a lot of texture. It's casual. Next he picked a dinner plate that has a wonderful curve to it, made by Simon Pierce. And there's one of his ties, the cutest. Thinking that this was a Thai theme, he thought maybe we should be serving Thai food. Thus the chopsticks and the wasabi. To set this whole place setting off, Steve chose a textured and outdoorsy placemat and he just followed his theme perfectly through this table. You'll also notice that Steve created a runner down the middle of the table made out of ties and he adorned and dressed up our little dog statues with flying ties. This is adorable, one of my favorites. 